Is it well, well, well with your soul? Are you free and made whole? Is it well? Just thank God it's well with your soul. Hey, family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. You see, I got my brother Marcus Mosea Garvey shirt on today. And what does he say? He said, I try to bring dignity to our race. Africa for the Africans at home and abroad. And if I am condemned for that, <laughs> either I'm condemned for that, I'm satisfied. So good afternoon, good morning, good evening to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you own. Let me welcome you, welcome you to the mental house. I know a lot of us are upset. A lot of us are still running around so full of uh, mixed emotions uh, regarding Kyle Rittenhouse and that whole thing. The verdict in that case, which will uh, seems to allow open season on anybody. That wants to take up for black people. <laughs> Anybody that um, has a problem with um, what goes on in America. They can just grab a assault rifle and go across the state lines and kill somebody. Um, ah, if you ask me, because a lot of people wanted me to do a video on that. And I just don't want to. Just don't want to. Because I'm, I'm used to the garbage. But I will say this. Um, the judge should have never been a judge. And in fact, if you if you would have to have a face for a persona of somebody with white supremacy, in my opinion, it would look like that judge. He was the epitome of a racist. And I don't know nothing about his pot. I don't know nothing about his family life. I don't know nothing about anything about him. But I can guarantee you, he's a poster child for white supremacy. That judge in that Kyle Rittenhouse case, I mean, it was just pathetic. And the stuff that gets to happen um, in America, because there needs to be a federal guideline that call, uh, crosses all states. See, and what they what they do with this slick shit is they make certain things a rule the state decides. So if you got a racist person in the state, you got a racist person that's a judge, a racist person that's a, a, a governor, whatever, then it's going to be up to the racist dictate. See, America was set up, y'all, for the white man. He came and stole and killed the Native American. You got to understand this the thirsty blood killer's nature. He came and killed off all the Native, okay, and put them on reservation and then claimed some shit. That's like me going into your grandmama house, your grandmama house, moving in, kicking her ass out, beating her and killing her, and then claiming her house, and then get mad at uh, some of her offspring that you didn't kill, complaining that you don't supposed to be here. So that's the nature of the white man, okay? So this court system and everything has been set up for him to win. So even if you got white people that know it's unjust, you got white people that know what's going on is wrong. They, they have been there all through history. John Brown, all his sons. I mean, come on, let's just go. Do we need to? I don't have to go there. Okay. He sacrificed all of them. Okay. And the thing about it is, it's the same fight today. Because this country was set up for white people and anybody else to 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 um kick rocks and die, so that is a system that is unjust. That is a system that can't uh, sustain itself because it's fake and it's not real and ain't no God in it. Ain't no real God in no no uh um country that has that mindset. See, when you are working towards a more perfect union, and you really act like you were doing it, <laughs> there may have been a possibility that we all believe that.
But the age I am now, I already see this shit. This system is a fine-tuned machine. It ain't never going to change. Okay? So, what you need to do in order to keep your sanity, because you can't just sit there and be all angry with white people when you got black people who have been driven mad by the system. They have been so driven so mad that they like the the rats in that proverbial box that they start eating on each other. And once you take them out and spread them out, a lot of them can't help it. They still eat each other because they have been driven mad by the system that the uh, scientists set up in that box. The behavior that he was trying to bring out in that box, <laughs> excuse me, he succeeded. So what you have, oh, I see that. So what you have is a system and a, a city out of control. A country out of control that tells you to worry about outside terrorists and all the terrorists. that Terrorism that has been happening to black people has been by white people since we've been here. Y'all have been the only terrorists we've had to worry about. Uh, even some of your own white fellow counterparts had to worry about y'all because they know that y'all crazy. They know that you have a thirst for blood. A lot of them come into black culture and just find a reprieve. And they'll tell you, I, either I'm going to have to just uh, denounce my family and be with you, or I just can't be with you. Because my family is too corrupt. And they will, for generation after generation, they have the power to affect my life if I marry a black person. I mean, I've heard all kinds of crazy stories. Um, so, race is a problem. And for the founding fathers to set this up and say we're striving for a more perfect union, but then set up all these laws for white men, shows you how hypocritical they were. Like Thomas Jefferson, you know, uh, uh, we, we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are created equal. And you got a slave up in there that you impregnate. You are a, a, you're a pedophile. You're committing uh, adultery and you're a pedophile. And you got the nerve to be able to put your signature on the goddamn, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, you know, declaration. What the hell is this? So y'all know it's a cesspool of madness. You see that roll behind you, behind me? I personally, I ain't gonna lie. I've I've given up on America. I mean, because the system is what it is. And I'm telling I tell all my friends now, I'm you know, I'm 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 making the preparations. We're making preparations. Uh to just go and uh, um, figure out if the country that we're uh, anticipating on moving to is the one we really want to be in. Because if it's one thing that I look forward to going into the twilight years of my life, it's not so much money. I don't even care about I want some peace. And the older you get, I'm going to tell you all something. The older you get, you want peace. This shit here, it weighs on your psyche. And then what happens is you, you drive the people who have any kind of um, you know, heart for freedom and justice and equality. They either have to join the corrupt crew or either they get uh, uh, um, so depressed, so um, taken out of their... Um, uh, a nature that they that they end up dying prematurely because all the stimulus and all the toxicity around them. So I just want all of y'all who are upset about the verdict. I don't want y'all to act, go out and do something crazy. This is what white people do. And to be honest with you, I've heard even people say, "Well, this is payback for the coal." <laughs> what the fuck? Nicole Brown said, said, what the fuck she got to do with this? <laughs> you know, and I don't mean to hurt nobody's uh, feelings, but not that the Nicole deserved to be dead because I have a sister that uh, lost her life uh, 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 to uh, domestic violence. But 
just as in the case with my sister, there was a lot of drugs involved. There's a lot of drug use involved. And you know what? When people get off on the left foot, ain't no telling. So you're not going to put them in. You're not going to uh, beat me with that stick. I don't want to compare how black people felt some kind of justice was performed when O.J. Simpson was uh, acquitted. Than this Kyle Kyle Rittenhouse. First of all, Kyle Rittenhouse went across state lines, and then the goddamn judge throw the gun charge out. What the hell? The judge Schroeder. Somebody need to do some. And I believe he like again is kidding the Ricky Schroeder. <laughs> Get your bags packed. The slaves always had to move. You're in a sit situation now where you can see what America is about. And why she has a lot of beautiful things to offer her constituents. She's also a cesspool. And to live your life in this color skin and to live here. It's, a, it's about a fight. Every single day of your life you have to fight. You get up in the morning. You walk out the door. Yeah, what kind of shit is it going to be today? You know, and it's really hard to keep your mind focused on what is positive when there's so much ugliness in this society. There's so much ugliness here in society. And then you have these group of people that want you to be so heavenly bound that you are no earthly good. Just don't worry about it. Just don't think about it. Just keep going. Yeah, God is good. Being in the living. And you know it's it's upon you once to die. We all right now. We know we all going to die. It's what we do before. And it's what we do during. That counts, right? I just say for the rest of my life, if it's possible, I want some peace. And I don't seem to be getting it here in America. I really don't. And so I don't like the paranoid um, environment that it creates. I don't like the just the ever never ending visual and uh, 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 high alert mindset that it produces. I just I'm just sick of it, you know. So I know what I got to do. I know what I'm doing and what we're making preparations for. And like Mosea Garvey say, remember what your brother said. Africa is for the Africans at home and abroad. And I am an African that's living abroad. This country, um, although my people inhabited it, the white man came and he destroyed what they had. And he put them on reservations in their own country. So, either this white man got to be stopped, and we can't stop him if we, we lose people in the army every single day. Why do you think these people stockpile all these damn weapons? Why do you think that they have a military, mic that is so... Because they know they ain't shit. They know that every country on the face of the earth that's not in the West want to kill their ass. Everybody. Don't nobody really like Americans. And when you go abroad, they be like, how you live in that place? They welcome when you come. When you, especially my color. Why should I stay somewhere where they don't want me? Now that's to each his own. Personally, I want the peace. I want the peace. You know, there's, there's good things and bad things happening everywhere. There, I'm not no fool. Things happen everywhere. But this race component. Uh, it's kind of hard to change the skin that you in. You know. So. And if you're being judged. And, and, and ridiculed. And, uh, 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 treated. Any kind of way. Because of the color of your skin. Then. Yeah. Makes it difficult for some sanity. And that's why you got a lot of the people that look like you running running amok. So with that being said, 
I hope y'all uh stay calm. Get a strategy together. Don't 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 do a lot of marching. Do something different. Do something different. And if you don't got nothing to do right now, just sit back and be still. And know that there is a God. And he's in you. And if you rely on him, he'll show you exactly what to do. With that being said, I'm going to get off there. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.